series uh, for this uh, the game that we're going to be playing is Stranded Deep, obviously. Uh, now this game is a uh, survival, I, I suppose, horror game. Like it can't get scary, but it's mostly just a survival game now. So what the basis is of this game is that you're this uh, millionaire kind of guy. I mean, like you, you're pretty rich, and uh, your private plane goes down, and you end up in a Bermuda Triangle. And so every island looks similar, but I mean they're a little bit different. And they're larger sizes and stuff but you're essentially just stuck out in the ocean and you have to you know island hop over and over and over again to get the resources that you need so it's essentially as sir you know like a survival game now along the way there's going to be like predators like uh, snakes and stuff like that and that'll be on the island there's going to be uh, boars which is more or less like a wild pig but you know with tusks kind of deal uh, they will mess you up. There are uh, sharks. I believe there is like a black tip reef shark. They're like small little guys, only about like four feet long. Let's see. Now, I have played this game a little bit before. Uh, my guy, as long as I went for like about 28 or 29 days, but it's been quite some time since I've actually played the game, so I'm not going to be too new to it. But I will understand, you know, like some of the basics and stuff, so you don't need to see me like struggle and, it, you know, it's a pain in the butt. So, yeah, see, like snakes, default, dangerous sharks, default. I don't know if I can passive remove default. Yeah, okay. So, let's do it. I don't think I really need to change anything. Now, I haven't played this game in quite some time, so. I've literally played it for just about, or in the game for about 29 days, maybe several hours at most. And even then, this game, again, is a survival game, so it takes, uh, like, you can spend a pretty good amount of time and get almost nothing done. So as you can see here, we're in a, a plane. It's more or less like the Star of the Forest, which is a older survival game. And just like that, we ended up in the water. I believe we try to swim out. Now, if you didn't really catch that, that was a little bit fast. I essentially just swam out the hole that blasted into the side of the plane. Now, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know how you get a massive hole, you know, just blow up on the side of your plane. But it's a game. They're, they're leading with it, so. Now there is a way to beat this game, it's not just, you know, like, infinitely surviving and stuff. Uh, there is parts and stuff that you can use, you can either use it to make a motor, I've yet to do so. But you can also use them to make a plane. Which, of course, you use to get off the island. There's not really a rescue plane or a helicopter or anything like that that comes to save you. You are literally on your own. And again, this is in the Bermuda Triangle, so you can't get any communications or anything because, you know, it's like a weird electromagnetic kind of area of the world, which, you know, that's why it's so infamous. And that's why planes and stuff go down, because usually when you have electromagnetic stuff, you know, that's a EMP, <laughs> essentially. This whole entire area, it's like a weird natural EMP selection spot. It messes with a, uh, a bunch of equipment and stuff on planes and they'll make it to where that they'll most likely crash because half their stuff is not working. Now if I push triangle you can see the stats. The heart is obviously my health. The meat there, that's the food. The water drop of course is water and SPF, that's my uh, I guess how hot the sun is or like the temperature I suppose outside. Now one thing we do want to get is definitely some tarp. This is very vital because you can use this, I believe, to make a uh, some type of water distillery kind of deal. 
or water collector not in this it's a uh, it's pretty useful and I definitely recommend getting that like right off the bat now I don't think this game has a multiplayer mode to it yet uh, but or at least not for PS4 it may have it for like a uh, what is it the PC so I need to figure out how to go uh, two rocks and two sticks okay I'm just doing tutorials because I don't remember how to play this game. R1. Okay. So make a blade. On the ground menu, highlight the refined knife. Okay. So how do we highlight that? Pin. Okay, craft a refined knife using lashing and a stick and a stone tool. Okay. A lashing. Now lashings are really easy to get. You can cut down the young palm leaves. And you'll get fibrous uh, leaves, and I believe you need four of them or two. I'm not entirely sure. I want to see in just a second. Yeah, you need four fibrous leaves in order to make lashing. Now, lashing is essential to just about everything in the game. If you don't have these things, then you don't really get a whole lot done at all. So, now the biggest or the best way to find it are, are these yucca plants right here. Yes, you do pronounce that as yucca. Not yucca. And this one gives about, I believe, like six of these things at once. So it gives you like a little over, you know, like one and a half here. But that's all that I can get. Alright, so make that and now let's make the refined knife okay now when I push R1 uh, as you can see here it says hunting cooking harvesting and physical and craftsmanship all this stuff is my levels I suppose so like hunting more and more I like you know kill creatures and cook them and stuff like that that will go up cooking will also go up as well and uh, every one of them will increase a certain stat like hunting will make it to where I do a little bit more damage against creatures and things like that and uh, you know I get better at hunting uh, cooking will make it to where that food is cooked faster and they last longer after oh, they're gross. cooked so you have a little bit more time but if you just smoke it you don't need to worry about it because you know, it's smoked so, here's that. What is that? I don't know what that plant is. Craft some kindling. Okay, so in this game, you don't just make a fire and place it down. You actually have to make kindling, which is a bunch of, you know, like dried sticks. Usually, you can use leaves too, like in real life. Uh, but that essentially is what you use for... The campfire. Okay, so just four sticks. So with the refined knife, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down because you might might as well just grab them. I think some of them got lost in this bush. I hate that. That's a bummer. Yeah, but with a refined knife, you can cut down a tree, so if you just want to do that to get these sticks, you definitely can. I think that's actually what it wants you to do, so. Yeah, so, lashing's definitely a thing you want to do. If you don't have any, you know, stuff that actually give you uh, f fibrous leaves on your island at the moment, just go back to the original one or anything like that and get yourself some fibrous leaves, because it goes a long way for crafting. It's gonna take some time. It's probably the, uh, the slowest part here. There we go. Four sticks just for the fire. 
And it doesn't really matter where we put it right now. I'm gonna be getting off this island pretty soon after I get the tutorial done. And you just sit over here and push L2 and R2 really quickly. Boom, there we go. And just like that, cooking food. If you have a coconut, you can climb up trees by holding X. Okay. Now, one thing to understand uh, with coconuts, that just like in real life, if you drink and eat too much of this stuff all at once, like in the rapid succession, you will get diarrhea. And uh, it's not fun. Your guy will be in a constant state of crouching and throwing up, and will literally puke his guts out and die. And when you get dysentery, essentially, it's it's more than diarrhea. Okay. You can sleep and save the game at the shelter. Yeah. The only way for you to save the game is by going to a shelter that you have to manually build, and that is a pain in the butt. But it is what it is. Now, for right now, though. Now you can, I believe, reset the, uh, what is it, the amount of coconuts, yeah there we go, that's the word I was looking for, so it doesn't give you dysentery by eating a piece of meat or something like between each one, so it doesn't, you know, worry about that too much. Draw the kindling right here, that's just taking up space. Since I have a bunch of lat, or uh, fiber, so you might as well make these. As you can see here in my stats, you can see the SPF is down, and that means that uh, I am having a sunstroke, or it did say that in just a second, but I guess I'm good now because I'm cooling off. Now, you could wait in the shade and trees and stuff like this, and wait for yourself to cool off, or you can do a really easy deal. I know I've seen it somewhere around here. There are aloe plants that you can just grab, just straight up eat the whole thing, and it'll restore your whole entire bar. Watch this. Oh, is that... <sighs> and just like that, all the way back up. I do remember that. I do knew, know some tips, so... Now, one thing about the snakes you gotta keep in mind, since you know they're snakes on this game, and this game is essentially relentless, they will have poison on them. So the only way for you to cure poison is by making an antidote, which is a pain in the butt to make, because you need a bunch of stuff that, in order to make it. Alright, so I do think I have enough palm fronds. Yeah, I just need sticks. Dang it, okay. Let's see where will my knife go. Okay. It's a stick. Where's the the tree I cut down? I know I didn't cut down the rest of it. There's another one of these. I might as well grab it for later. And like a bunch of stuff tries to kill you in this game. I swear. Like there's even a starfish that if you step on it, it's not that one. It's a uh, you'll definitely this one right here. See all the little needles on top of that? Sucker's evil. Step on it also poisons you. It's like getting poisoned by anything else. Now that's a that's a really sad way to go. Where in the world did I pull that tree? Now I believe this is driftwood. A yeah, wood pile. I just hit that. I don't know if this gives me six. I don't think I've ever tried this. It does. After I save the game, I'll go ahead and move to a different island because I am not staying here. The, again, this is a starter island. There is a shipwreck I will check out in just a second. Uh, shipwrecks are definitely something that you should love seeing because 
that is one thing that keeps you, uh, you know, progressing a little bit more in terms of technology and stuff. And that's also a way for you to get parts so you can make motors and uh, maybe even have a certain, like, what is it, a uh, hammer that you can use to craft, like, large things like uh, this thing to where you can make fuel out of, like, using clay and stuff. I don't necessarily know how that stuff works. I'm, I don't make fuel. <laughs> I never built it just yet, but I do know that that is a thing. I did see it in the crafting menu. Uh, of course, it doesn't show up yet because I don't even have a hammer yet in order to build anything. Now, the Stingray, obviously enough, doesn't even do anything to you. That's a grouper. They won't attack you. Black tip reef sharks, the smaller ones, they don't do anything to you. They're like just little things. Now, I believe that was a sea snake. You gotta look out for those things. That's what... Uh, last time why I stopped playing my other playthroughs because I was in a constant death loop due to a, a sea snake uh, biting me. Not enough room in inventory? Of course not. I just dropped the coconut. I don't really need it. else? I don't think so. Well that's unfortunately like nothing here. Now how I do have now a crate that I can use. Now the crates and stuff that you pick up from ships I forgot to mention as well. You can always use those it's like uh, they don't ever go away. I had a raft to that bill and it was pretty big right here. See these are the reef sharks. You don't need to worry about them there. They're small little guys, they don't attack you. I know it's kind of hard to trust, you know, a four foot shark. <laughs> Not to bite you, but here we are. So we're looking good on water. It's not going to stay like that after, you know, I go to sleep or whatever. Because your uh, stats do get knocked down after, you know, each day. Which I suppose is realistic. So now we have a way to get food faster, I suppose. So now, let's go ahead and grab this, bring it over to my campfire, wherever that may be. And you don't ever need to worry about snakes or anything being on the starter island. It doesn't ever do that. So what we got, we got ourselves a fishing spear and some rations. Now rations are definitely uh, something that we can always use. And they're just a free meal, so to be honest with you, I, I think I would like, you know, try to store them somewhere. Maybe on the raft for the most part. here I can't really see anything so but for the most part before you start making a raft and stuff of course making a I swear there had to be a different starter island right I guess not okay I believe it may be random. Now one thing that you can, uh, another little tip, that at night, it's kind of hard to see anything, obviously, but shipwrecks become a lot more visible, because they usually would have bubbles and stuff signifying where they are. In the day, you can still see them, but it's not as obvious, because you know, you have to be like right on top of them. This, you can see pretty well. I mean, obviously, you can see the top of that ship there, but right there, you can see the bubbles kind of floating up. You can see that way better at night. And it doesn't matter if you have, you know, like a light or anything uh, blocking the view, I guess. So what I did is just wait for it to be night for a little bit here. It was a pretty looking sky. Because when you do go to sleep right when it's night, it doesn't automatically set it to where... It's a, 
that's day or like in the middle of the day so when I wake up I'm most likely going to be still like early in the morning but still night or not actually it worked out I guess they updated it or something Riding the pain in the butt for people, you know, to wait there for nothing. And again, you can always put all your stuff in here. Now, unfortunately, they only carry so much room on them, but it's, it's definitely helpful. So, let's see. Palm fronds. Alright, so we don't need to care about the palm fronds right now. So, we got everything we need. Uh, I will cut down this thing. We'll get some more plant fibers. Let's see what else can we make. We can make ourselves an axe. I'm gonna have to make that. Now that takes two blades. So let's go find some rocks. Which I have. I just place it in here. Now I need one stick. Now, items on the ground, if you're not holding them, it's okay. Oh, no. Because you, uh, the game will still understand that you want to use those items. I'm grab one stick. There we go. So now I got myself an axe. Now that's going to be a lot better because, you know, I can cut things down. Now, since we got ourselves a raft here that we used for the station or the first one, now I believe I have rations on hand. Yeah, so we go over here. You can open up this pouch on the other side of this raft here, and you can store rations and stuff in it. Now let's see which one do we want to go to. Then that one might be the best thing because that's a lot bigger. So the bigger ones are always a good idea to get to. There's a bit of a boat over here. I don't know if anything's going to be in it, but it doesn't hurt to check it out. Yeah, nothing in there. Ah, oh, shoot, man. Poison. Alright, so now we're poisoned. That's not good. Now, the way that you can stop this is grabbing these things called PP plants right there. So, you can grab those. And, uh, you need two of them. Well, that is incredibly lucky. And we take ourselves a coconut. Actually, hold up. This, I want to show you how difficult it is to make an antidote. I'm not able to make one. Not yet. Oh shoot. That's no good. That's no good. Alright, so we gotta get over on that island fast. Now, carrying the, the crates with you is always a good idea. Because, you know, you can always get. I'll go ahead and go get it onto. Uh, is it into your raft and stuff and later episodes and stuff when you know I actually get to building the raft I'll show you how to do that I don't know if I already checked out this boat looks like I already have yeah I think I did yeah okay yeah, again this is a grouper you can't kill him for some reason Let's get to uh, paddling, I suppose. I don't know why my guy spun around that direction. Also, a little sea slug. Now, one thing to note when you're using rafts and stuff, I don't know why my guy looks straight up like that. Uh, when you're building yourself a raft, you do need yourself an anchor or it all starts floating off or you don't necessarily need it but it helps out because if you don't pay attention to your raft or you don't always pull it up onto land it will float off and you'll never get it back all your hours of hard work will be gone so it's definitely something 
that you definitely want to be planning before making your raft. And trust me, I, I had experience with that twice, actually. So right now we're just, we left the main island. We already saved the game and everything, so it is what it is there. If we die due to this poisoning, then we'll just respawn over there. Now it doesn't kill you really quickly. I mean, you can survive for several days with it. I don't know if you, it will actually eventually go away, but I'm assuming it doesn't because you know it is poison, so. Or who knows? Because right now I can't do anything. Oh, there's a marlin. I forgot they're in the game. I guess they're aggressive too, so. As you can see there, yeah, there's a little marlin fish on my right. Or a uh, swordfish on what most people would call them. Black marlin. Big old fish. Now, maybe we might even find a bruise, or that's what we call them, a uh, tiger shark, or, you know, great white. Hopefully just a tiger shark, because I do not want to deal with the great white. Now, they're, they're fairly easy to kill. I mean, you can just use one or two sticks, I believe, to make a bunch of spears, which are infinite uses, unless you stab them with it instead of throwing it at them. And you essentially have yourself a constant way of killing a shark. And they give a ton of food, a ton of leather. I mean, it's good all around if you kill one. I mean, it's uh, you're on easy street if you get one of those. So we're going on to land. Now we do have to be careful because in this... You hear that music? Kind of like scary-ish kind of music going on. I believe that means... That guy right there, I don't know what the heck that was. That's the right one. It's a lot smaller. Where in the world? But you can hear that that noise or the the music playing. It kind of sounds like rip off jaws music. Uh, that's essentially what you gotta be listening for, so you know when you know, sharks and stuff are around you. And I think that one that was kind of like speeding around might be a new shark they added in. Now this game has been updated quite some time, or several times now since I've played it. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves started. Now again, you go into New Islands and stuff. Like that. Yeah, one, two. No, that's not what I wanted. Drop off that. I can't see him, that's the thing. see because you know they they hide in the grass really well I'm not gonna lie it's it's kind of hard to see these things oh there you are and I can see the spears so there's that there we go 
free food. Now, snakes don't give you leather, unfortunately. <laughs> so that's, uh, I think that might have been the only snake in the area on this side of the island. Okay, so that's, that's finally done. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this thing set up on the beach area so I don't need to worry about, you know, walking and hitting a snake. We're still poisoned. We are thirsty, so, uh, there's that. I'm gonna go get my corrugated scrap metal, whichever, or wherever I put that at. Unless that was it right there. I don't think it was. I guess there is like a little cave area right here. Yeah, so those little cave areas will spawn uh, bats. There are bats at night for bigger islands like this. I haven't killed one yet, but there's it's there. So let's go ahead and uh, take these spears actually. Pick up my knife. And store the knife in here because I don't want to lose that. That's kind of like my backup deal. My corrugated scrap metal. Now the scrap metal you can use eventually to start building advanced like structures and stuff. Or even faster you can start using it to where it's way like, a higher level uh, a body for your raft. It's not the ship, right? That guy right there. Black tip free shark. Okay, so black tip free sharks now try to kill you. There's always okay, yeah. So that's definitely new. That's I haven't seen that before. Now what we got to build is a uh, water distillery which is next in line in order to get that though I need to get my craftsmanship up and in order to do that I need to start crafting some junk so <laughs> let's go ahead and start with the basic fire I suppose now one thing that you should always know that you know boars definitely give you leather they uh, do I'll have to come back around and kill you later. Now, one thing I don't understand is uh, why a snake takes two spears in order to kill it. Because, you know, I, I would assume, you know, a six foot stick would kill a creature like this, so. can't tell where it's coming from, that's the thing. Oh, there you are. Now, they do get aggressive, they will attack you. After you throw a spear at them. Wherever they may be. Like so. So they give up. Alright, so I believe the only way to uh, the skin a snake though is by using your knife. So the axe doesn't cut it. That is one thing you, you always have to have with you is another knife. There's another beefy plant, but again we don't have the uh, know it you know the actual knowledge here to actually build what we need. Keep yourself alive. That is, uh, and that really was a bad move on my part. It's definitely that dang uh, starfish. Now that, this is what I mean. This game's relentless. It, it's it's going to find some way to kill you. It will be the most messed up way possible. And I like almost a whole freaking month for my first playthrough. <laughs> and it finally got me into a death loop. Not necessarily to. Uh, the starfish, but it was to a sea snake. 
and I was on the very verge of actually learning how to build the, uh, what is it, the engine. So I can, like, throw it onto the back of my, uh, raft. There's that, so, uh, we'll go ahead and get food and stuff started. I'll go get myself a coconut because I don't have any water in me at the moment. Now, palm fronds play a really big role in, uh, your water levels because when you make this water distillery essentially what it is is a tarp with a coconut in the middle and I'll kind of explain it like how or like after I build it like how it's supposed to work out but essentially it's supposed to use evaporation from you know like the cycles of water I guess and uh, it uses that to collect on the tarp and then the little droplets will you know condense and start rolling towards the middle of the tarp which will drop into the coconut there we go now I can actually build this so we need one of those little deals so we need a, uh, a normal coconut and a lashing so do we already have lashing on us that is the question we do not So we need one more fiber sleeves, and then, uh, then we'll be able to make this. Alright, so we just go grab ourselves a coconut here. Oh, we yeah, actually need to make the line first. There we go, so there's that. Uh, let's see, what else do we need? We need the tarp, lashing, one palm frond, and three stones, okay. Well, that's happening, go ahead and grab this piece of meat. Eat that. One knife. So the palm fronds also make it to where it's uh, faster to condense all the water and stuff because usually they have a bunch of moisture in it. So it makes it to where that's where you get most of your water levels from. It does fill up faster if it's raining, but you know, you can't always trust that to work. So we need a lashing. This is going to be the hardest part to get here because that is a pain in the butt to build or to make. We do, however, have everything we need in order to make a uh, antidote. Let's go ahead and grab these rocks because I also need rocks. There's some driftwood or uh, planks, I mean. So when you're walking around on these uh, islands or large islands and stuff and you haven't cleared out any of the snakes, don't be running around. Don't, unless you're running out on like the sand and stuff where you can obviously see where things are. Don't be running around in like the, the grass and things because that is a really easy way to get yourself killed. And I say that and here I am doing it. got most of the stuff. Need one tarp to three rocks. What do I have right now? Got two rocks. I have another one inside my uh, deal here. There's a shipwreck right next to me, so I think I already checked that one out, but there's nothing there. And there's a reef shark, so or black tip reef shark. The aloe plants. You can go there for now. Uh, let's see. Pick up that. We need one palm frond. I'm not entirely sure where that would be at. Guess I'll cut you down. We 
have all that and we need one tarp, which I believe I set over here somewhere. Yeah. And all that together will make the water distillery. And then this is what you get to fill it. You just go back over to the palm fronds. I'll pick up what I have left. Now it does take a total of four palm fronds in order to fill it all the way. And these things do eventually drain out and you know you keep refilling it over and over again. Now it does already come up with a quarter of the water already filled. So essentially that's it right there. So now we have a steady source of water. I am going to get another coconut just to hold me over, but that's not going to last for very long. Yeah, I know you need to find some water, my guy. I'm getting it for you. Making sure. There's a coconut right here. Well, I wasted all that time for nothing. So there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves a uh, shoot. We need to make ourselves a shelter. We need one lashing shoot. Okay. Yeah, this is what I mean. Like, you need a lashing for literally everything you do. It's... It's always a good idea to always make those ahead of time. Your number one priority. Obviously, I'm not doing that. But after I build the shelter and stuff, I think that's going to be a great place to end it for the first episode. And, uh... Because I kind of give you, you know the basis of what to do. Now again, this is kind of a rough start because you know I'm poisoned, and I don't really have the know-it-all to actually build. Or now I do. No, I don't. It's one off. Craftsmanship. Yep. So yeah, if you can, a frame, a frame from being poisoned. I mean, of course, no one's going to you know intentionally do that, but it's definitely not a good thing to do right off the bat is it will slowly start to kill you especially when you don't know actually how to build anything right off the bat that's my knife I need that if I, if I actually want to eat anything then I need that I wanted to hold the spears and chuck them over here oh yeah another go cool tip when we get to it uh, for a wraps uh, when you build that you don't need to carry your spears on your person or in any kind of crates. Just throw it onto the side of the raft and it'll just stick into the side of it. So you can just carry those things with you all the time. So now we need one lashing. And it is giving us a little bit of daylight now. Or moonlight really, not daylight. Hey, Paul. Okay, so I got three, okay. Yeah, again, four is what you need in order to make at least one lashing, and that's a pain because already that's about half your island already been no, messed up there. Now, you can use fibrous leaves in order to fill your distillery as well, or your water distillery. But again, it's way, way more viable if you just make a, uh, lashings and stuff out of them, but if you're in a pinch, I mean, it's, it's always there. It'll work. So let's go ahead and make this. Uh, as you can see, it's already about halfway. I'm going to hold off on that until the morning so it can you know, fully uh, fill up. And in the morning, uh, we're going to save the game. Wait, do I... Let me see if I have it. If I actually have it now. No, shoot. And get a bandage. Bandages are good for bites and stuff from uh, sharks. And I believe that's the only really the use you have for them. The coconut flask, you will need that to actually make an antidote, and that's a pain in the butt to use. I will take this. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep, save it, because I do not want to do all this stuff over again. Now, I will live through this poison stuff. Yeah, all I have to do is craft a couple more things, and we'll be good. Now, one thing that you should do that, you know, you don't ever see me do because of this, that's the problem right there, is that 
I leave my water, or not my water, my uh, fire going. Don't ever do that. <laughs> it, it just wastes all your uh, resources that you could be using for the future. What in the world am I trying to do? You can't always refill it with more wood, but that's a pain in the butt to get, so there's that. Now believe that there was a shipwreck again off in this direction. He's stuck. So there was a shipwreck out in the open water here. Well that's what it showed anyway, right? Oh, that's a lionfish. All right, so another fish or thing they need. Oh lord, I seen it too. I don't really have anything to fight you with. How am I looking? Not too good. Not too good. All right, so obviously I got bitten by a shark. Luckily, it was a black tip free shark, so I believe that might be the hardest—not the hardest hitting one, but uh, the least hitting one. Obviously, the hardest hitting one will be a uh, great white. You don't want to go to those suckers. They will kill you instantly, no matter how much health you got. So, let's go ahead and build something. I don't know what it is, but... Okay, a lashing, a stick, and two rocks. Gotcha. So, let's go ahead and build ourselves a crafting hammer. I mean, we might as well. Set two sticks, right? You yeah, know, one stick, two rocks. Another aloe plant, always grab that. I mean, again, it doesn't really help you out a whole lot <laughs> in terms of, you know, survival. But it just makes it to where that you don't need to worry about the, uh, the sunburn junk. It, it just, for, like, uh, to pick some minor inconveniences. Alright, so now we got that. And let's build the hammer. We just don't need that one stick. I don't know where that one stick went. I probably I was walking over it when it said I had one. There's that one stick. We need the two rocks. Now, in order for you to start like mining stone and stuff, like you may have seen there, there's like some bits of stone and things that are around the islands, and it says like uh, ores and things like that. The only way for you to get that is by making a refined pickaxe, and it is a pain in the butt to do. Because you're going to need a lot of leather and a uh, bunch of stuff that's really hard to get. I'll go ahead and fill this. Just by a little bit, I mean it's already there. Uh, let's see, stone, 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 there we go. that we made ourselves a hammer and with the hammer then this makes it to where you're on easy street for uh, crafting stuff because now you can craft a raft but in order to do that you're going to need a lashing and 14 sticks to make one base to it which is incredibly expensive or you can go to the easy route Actually, no, I guess not, because we don't really have the bases. Shoot, I'm not even high enough level yet to actually get those. That's unfortunate, okay. Poisoning, yes, yeah, so I don't think poison ever goes away. That's something to know. Right, look on SPF, great. Now sometimes, you know, you're going to have days to where the sun just doesn't do anything to you. It's just not doing anything. That's burnt out. No, it's not. Okay. So, let's go ahead and start making uh, spears, because I want to go hunt down that shark so we have enough food. And after that, I'll definitely uh, pause the video or something or end it there. Because i got to stop this thing at one point now.
Now, since this reef shark is now something I've never seen before, besides the smaller ones that don't attack you, that, that's the only ones I've seen last time I played. That's the only reason I know why they won't attack you, because I actually try to jump in there to see if I can get attacked by it. See, that's the boat I was looking for. Where'd it go? Right here. So I went way too far out. Yeah, so I went over here. That thing, sea urchin, don't mess with that. Some good shots right there. Come on, big guy. Where'd you go? You're no Bruce, but you're gonna have to do. Where'd you go? There you are. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why this thing is so evil. Oh, I'm out of spears for him. I have to go back and make some more. Yeah, but I'll get a pretty good amount of stuff done, you know, in a day or so. Let's see if two spears will actually work on it, because again, I don't know how much he'll take. He's, he's a lot smaller than a, a tiger shark or a bruise, is what I call him. You know, that's not what Bruce was in the, you know, Finding Nemo movie, but here we are. Hunting. I don't know. What I'm going to call you, Steve. Come on, Steve. Stevie boy. Okay, not doing too hard on health, not going to lie. Figure out this crafting stuff fast, man. This is not going to be doing too good. All right. I'm sure he's almost dead. He only has like a couple more hits on him, I think. Bruce takes like a good 20 to 30 spears, so. This is definitely going to be uh, maybe a little bit easier on them. I believe it takes like up to 10 or 11 hits, I believe, to uh, break the second one there. Okay, let's go with four and see if that will work on them. I want to go ahead and save the game. <laughs> Just in case. Where are you? Oh, it's raining. Okay, I see you. Oh shoot, I'm about to die. He is fast. You're no Mako Shark, I can tell you that, but... That's, that would be terrifying, you know. I got him once. Come here, pal. I don't think he's even able to get up here, to be honest. He's kind of stuck around that little reef bin there. He's a tough sucker, I'll give you that. Physical skill increase. So now what the physical skill does is give you more health. That's all it really does. It doesn't give you any more stamina, I don't think, or anything like that. It's uh, it's just that. I, okay, so I don't think I need to really care about him for right now. Kind of all over the place. I need to build something to help me out with crafting. 
Because I need to get this antidote in me fast. So it'll just slowly start to kill me. And if you need to, if you want to get up there to crafting and stuff, just start spamming the heck out of the fires until you get up to level 3. Because I believe that's when you need to, when you're able to get the antidote blueprint. It's a pain in the butt and it will look ugly, but it, it works. So the way for you to upgrade your uh, physical skill is literally by doing anything, like hitting stuff, like mining, swimming mostly. I think that's actually what gives you one of the most, and then just running around in circles maybe. Beating. Not doing too hot. Fire spit. Okay, so going for a higher level stuff. Okay, so we need one lashing, three sticks, and a rock pit. I don't have that. So starting, starting up now. Come on now. It's a race against time right now. I mean, if I die, then it's okay. I'll just restart and start crafting stuff faster. The thing about the death loop where I was in for the last save, I was too far away from my base, so I couldn't really get back in time to do anything. Whoa! Look at those waves, man. Thank goodness. Yeah. So that's why you need yourself a uh, a raft mostly. It's hard to light these. I don't know if this helps out crafting or anything, but. See, crafting is almost there. What else can we build? We need something that's higher up. Fire pit. Okay. Let's just make that. Am I almost there? I can make it. Okay. So I need one of those deals. Okay. So I need a lashing and a coconut. Trade a barren coconut, but I just need that. So I need that. Let's go look for lashing junk. Actually, how much stuff do I have for it? I just need one more. Okay. All right, boys, we saved ourselves. And just like that, we made ourselves an antidote, which we will use. And we're back. All right. So we can always keep that there because we can always come back and refill that. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And there we go. I'll go back in the next episode. Probably go hunt down Steve is what I'm calling him. And uh, let's go ahead and put that thing out. Like that, that's kind of annoying. There we go. So there you go. It's a mess of the first episode. But that's essentially how it is in this game for a bit. And next episode we'll start working on probably going over to a different island after we search all the shipwrecks and stuff that this one has and then you know start working on our raft so i hope you guys enjoyed this video again it's a bit of a mess but uh, i'll see you guys in the next one